Hello friends, let us solve some multiple choice questions based on the topic coordinate geometry from maths part 2 class 10. Let's have the first question. Segment AB is parallel to y axis and coordinates of point A are 1, 3. Then the coordinates of point B can be the four options are given. Now to solve this question we must have the Cartesian coordinate system. So let us have this as the x axis and the vertical y axis is there. Now it is given that there is one segment AB which is parallel to y axis. So let us draw a segment AB which is parallel to y axis. So if this is segment AB and the coordinates of point A are 1 and 3. So the coordinates of a are given to be 1 and 3. So if we draw a perpendicular on x axis, we get this point as 1. And if we draw a perpendicular on the y axis, we get this point as 3. Now the question is asked, the coordinates of B can be out of these four, which may be the coordinates of point B. So to find the answer of that one, we have to go according to the options which are given. So let us check it out whether the coordinates of point B are 3, 1 or 5, 3 or 3, 0 or 1 minus 3. So let's check it out one by one. So let us consider the first. Can 3, 1 be the coordinates of point B? Now as line AB which is parallel to Y axis, the X coordinates of both the points A and B must be same. So if the X coordinate of point A is 1, then the x coordinate of point B must be also 1 and we can have any y coordinate so let it be m so we have to check amongst all the four options given where do we get these coordinates so a is 3 1 so its x coordinate is 3 so these are not the coordinates of point B and option B x coordinate is 5 it is also not the coordinates of point B at C the x coordinate is 3. So these are also not the coordinates of point B. And in option D we have the x coordinate 1. And the y coordinate is minus 3. So y coordinate may be any number. But the x coordinate must be 1. As the x coordinate of point A is 1. And line segment AB is parallel to y axis. That means for both of these two points x coordinate must be same. So here we should get point D that is the correct alternative that is the coordinates of point B amongst all these four is 1 minus 3. So D is the correct alternative. Let us have the next question. Out of the following the point dot dot lies to the right of the origin of x axis. So these four alternatives are given. So here also we should have the Cartesian coordinate system. So let us have this Cartesian coordinate system horizontal x axis, vertical y axis, they intersect at point O which is origin. Now question here is which of these four points, the point lies to the right of the origin. Now it is given that the point is on the x axis and it is to the right of the origin. So here on the x axis and to the right of the origin we get this part. So here if there must be a point which is on the x axis and to the right of the origin it must be a positive. So for any point on this part must have the x coordinate positive. So here for the first option x coordinate is negative so that is not our answer. So from that we can eliminate option A because at option A minus, minus 2 is the negative coordinate which is not possible. Now either we can have option B or C or D. Now we have to decide which of these is the correct alternative. Now we know that if there is any point on the x axis, its y coordinate must be 0. Suppose this is there is one point A. Now if it is on the x axis, let its x coordinate be small x and y coordinate must be 0 because we know that every point on the x axis has y coordinate 0. Now we have to find which of these three remaining options has the y coordinate 0? So, and we can observe here for option B, y coordinate is not 0. For option C is also not 0. 
for option B we have the y coordinate 0 that's why the correct alternative for this one is option D so the point here 2 0 lies to the right of the origin and on the x-axis the next question is the distance of point minus 3 4 from the origin is dot dot now to solve this we have to use here the distance formula now now we have to find the distance of point minus 3 4 from the origin and we know that the coordinates of origin are 0 0 and the point of which we have to find the distance is minus 3 4 so let the coordinates of origin be x1 y1 and coordinates of that point be x2 y2 and by using the distance formula we can find the distance between these two if we name this o as origin and point a as minus 3 4 then by distance formula we can have a o is equal to under root y2 minus y1 bracket square plus x2 minus x1 bracket square now only we have to replace the values here y2 that is 4 minus y1 0 plus x2 is minus 3 minus x1 is 0 again bracket square so under root we get 4 minus 0 4 minus 0 that's 4 and 4 square is 16 plus minus 3 minus 0 that's minus 3 and minus 3 square is plus 9 so we get here under root 16 plus 9 that's 25 and 25 is a perfect square and the square root of 25 is 5 so here the distance of the point minus 3 4 from the origin is 5 which is given at option c so option c is the correct alternative now another question a line makes an angle 30 degree with the positive direction of x-axis so the slope of the line is we have to find which is the slope of that line so here also we need a cartesian coordinate system so let's have the horizontal x-axis and the vertical y-axis they intersect at point o now it is given that there is one line which makes angle of 30 degree with the positive direction of x-axis that means this is angle given to be 30 so if you consider this as theta then we can have the slope of this line by the formula tan theta because the angle of inclination is given which is 30 degree so instead of theta we should have now tan 30 degree and we know the value of tan 30 that is 1 divided by root 3 so here the slope of this line is 1 by root 3 which is at option c so option c is the correct alternative so this is how we can solve multiple choice questions based on the coordinate geometry i hope you understand these problems thanks for watching